Hey, yo, my people, just right now, about 30 seconds ago, I read a comment from a subscriber who asked me, what do I feel about concealed carry? So first and foremost, I want to tell you, comment down below, ask any questions, because I may just answer it immediately like I am in this case. And I just finished my workout at work. So real quick, I just want to comment on that question. Like, what do I feel about paramedics and emts having the right to carry a gun to conceal carry personally i think it's a bad idea and the reason why from my humble opinion from what i've seen there's people that they get a little bit of power and they abuse the power so what ends up happening is especially here in new york city you have people from the outskirts from westchester county from Long Island, they come into the Bronx, for example, to work and they get erections from like trauma jobs. They get erections from driving around lights and sirens. And I get it. I get the allure of the rush and you're raised in the suburbs and then you come to the hood and you're in the projects and you're hearing and seeing all the things that you saw in gangster rap and gangster movies and gangster hip hop music. I was raised around this, so it doesn't really phase me. It's kind of like a person that lives by the beach. They don't even enjoy the beach because they was raised by the beach. But the reason why I think it's not that great of an idea is because people like that, not to single everybody from those locations out, but a lot of times you see them being a little bit confrontational. They instigate issues and they start fights because they don't know how to behave with this radio that makes them sound like a police officer they don't know how to behave with this black blue un dark blue uniform that is similar to the nypd so a lot of times they get into altercation not every single time and once again i don't want to single them out because it also happens from authentic new york city people as well so at the end of the day what i want to say is that if the EMS staff is well prepared, well educated, and well trained in the risk and the responsibility of having a weapon, then by all means, I think it's a great idea. But I think we should start with something that's a lot more obtainable. I want think we should, you got to think about it in New York City, for example, in other states, it might be different. So can't really speak on that. But from my personal opinion, in New York City, and the fact is, that in New York City carrying a weapon is not something that's legal because it's New York City, you know, that's a lot of red tape here in the city and everything is basically difficult for it to happen and for it to pass. So my solution to that is this, why don't we just become a human weapon instead of carrying a weapon? And no, that's not gonna stop you from being shot at or stabbed and it's not gonna stop any bullets, but how about we as a staff, as, as a profession, as a career path, all just start practicing martial arts. What if we all were to just start taking our health more seriously? I'm a solution-based type of person. I don't wanna think about EMS carrying guns because you already know it's like politics and then who's gonna buy it and who's gonna do this and who's gonna do that. By the time it happens, it'll be five, 10 years down the road if ever it were to happen. But something you can do right now is start a martial art, like go to your local dojo. Or I think EMS as a whole should just start working on being healthy. Like take a walk around the park or do some push-ups and stop eating through the drive-through. So once again, I'm a solution-based type of person. So do I think EMS should carry guns? Heck no, because a lot of the major the majority of our staff is unable to is unable to to like use what's at their disposal now effectively. So you don't want to give someone more toys if they're not even using the ones that they have now appropriately. That's my take on it. Once again, man, do what's within your grasp right now because then it's going to take forever for them to implement it. So once again, my whole thing has always been and it will always be. Once you're good at being you, you'll be good at anything. So proceed with self-development. Proceed with making yourself better, a better man, a better woman. Make yourself healthier. Make yourself stronger. And, uh, and by the way, we had an issue today where 
people skills went a long way. We had some uncooperative people on scene. It wasn't that helpful and it could have led into something a lot more inconvenient. But before you have a gun, you should have some people skills. Before you have a gun, you should be healthy and be able to run down the block. Before you have a gun, you should be able to defend yourself. And if the times permit or if the time obligated, then I say, yeah, we should have a gun as long as we're prepared and educated. I hope this helps. Peace.